Hey guys, Smithy here. Welcome back to a brand new Gamers Podcast episode 9. We got Steven. Alright, what's up, what's up? Alright, so this week has been a sad week. It started out with like a really good week and then we had the passing away of Robin Williams, a great celebrity, um, certainly well known in the movie genre and comedians. Uh, etc. and all that stuff. Uh, we just want to pay tributes to Robin Williams. I was wasn't like the biggest fan, but I, I guess uh, I've watched a few of his movies um, and I've loved them. Um, and you know, the to- we don't really want to you know talk about Robin Williams in a in a way like because you can't physically talk about someone that you don't really know. Yeah, I never, I actually never watched any of his movies, never, none of his stand-up, none of it. Okay, um, I've watched um, a couple of his movies, and, you know, I've watched a couple of his stand-ups, and, you know, he's a really nice guy, uh, and everything like that, and very successful guy, and, you know, he was, like, the, the all-star of my childhood, like, he was in a lot of my childhood movies that I watched, um, you know, so, you know, um... I just was kind of shocked how how it came about, uh, how it, how his death came about, because there has been a lot of uh, speculation, but it has been confirmed now that he did die. Um, he did he did kill himself. He did hang himself. Mm, that's um, a shame. Due to depression, and he he was he'd always dealt with depression throughout his life, and he said that he he attempted. Many of things he attempted. He tried drugs. He tried um, alcohol. He tried uh, pretty much everything you could to to draw the line on his depression. And you know, it kind of shows that depression can can catch on anyone. It, you know, everyone sort of like pictures this whole scenery. You know, if you have the money, you're never sad, never upset. You know, you you're loving life if you have m- millions of money. Yeah, I, it's a shame when you hear somebody that Who's takes well, their own well, life. Yeah. I mean, out of anybody, I don't care if it's yeah. if it's the most known person or if it's nobody. You know, it's a mm. shame when anybody takes their own life because they needed that because they could have had that one person that maybe could have told them, "Don't do it." Yeah. There's more uh, to live for. Yeah, but I, <laughs> you, you've got a. It, it's kind of hard. Um, you know, Hutch. Um, you know the Hutch, the the creator. You know, as oh my god, it's Hutch. Well known in the YouTube scene for Call of Duty and everything like that. Oh yeah, he, Hutch. Yeah, he made a quote saying, um, you know, R.I.P. Um, you know, pretty much saying that. I don't, I don't have, um, you know. I think the actions you've taken are down to you. You know, it's not that you've left all these people hurt behind. It's the fact that you know anyone, ha- you know anyone who commits suicide, it's their decision, and that kind of got a bit of banter going because people were saying he shouldn't have even thought about suicide. He should have um, got personal help, or he should have told someone. Um, you know, he shouldn't have hurt all these people, but I mean, when you're depressed, you you don't want to talk to anyone. No, you don't. You just want to. You just want to be yeah. by yourself, and you know, you're pretty dumbed down. Um, but you know, I remember watching uh, Jumanji, uh, Mrs. Doubtfire, Flubber, uh, Aladdin, and all these tons of great movies of the night at the museum with him in it and it's sad to see him go um but uh, you know there's not really much you can do but it it does show that no matter how much money you have in life or how much happiness and joy you've brought to people you've you know you, you can still get depressed life can still beat you down and you know one of the weird things is is that um, the fact that he was a comedian and a movie star, he put so many smiles on people's faces and like made everyone laugh and made everyone happy. And to find out that he was depressed and you know he killed himself because of depression. 
That's, yeah, it's you know. something you wouldn't think. I mean, you think you'd be happy yeah. you're because making you're making other people feel happy. Yeah, and the success that you have had in life as well, you know, everyone thrives on success. But I, I guess that there comes a stage where it doesn't matter. I guess in his life or in his mind, he was kind of like, it doesn't matter what I do what success I do or what my next big adventure is, nothing can make me happy. Like he was, he was an alcoholic at one stage and he was sober when he was found. He'd been sober for a while and he'd been, um, he'd just been diagnosed with uh, a disease uh, which I can't remember the name of, which is really bad. Um, but he'd just been diagnosed with a a disease, and he wasn't. Oh, it was Parkinson's. He was in the early stages of Parkinson's, mm. um, and he was just about to announce that. And he'd been dealing with depression and anxiety. Um, so, you know, there's there, there just comes a time when your mind says enough is enough, really, isn't there? And there's really no way of bringing you round to to life. I, I guess. But, you know, great actor, great comedian, great guy. Um, he will be sadly missed. Um, and, you know, everyone does get depressed. You you just have to keep yourself going. You know, there, there are official people now, like people that get paid to help you. You know, you can call someone for free. You know, that there are services out there. So if you are dealing with depress, depression or you know someone who is dealing with depression, you know, if you are dealing with depression, then there is help out there. There, there's always another way to life that you know life has its ups and downs but it always gets better along the way and if you know someone that is dealing with depression you know go go let them let, let them know that you're there to comfort them and that you are a friend to them mm-hmm. but moving away from that topic uh, getting into some gaming news now uh, do you want to talk about Call of Duty first or do you want to talk about PlayStation Let's talk about Call of Duty. All right. I want to give some opinions. All right. Okay. So I'm glad I want to piss off some demographics. I'm I'm glad you you chose that because I've my my brain my mind is overhyped. My my mind has just got Call of Duty Advanced Warfare in it. Like, oh god, like everything is just about Advanced Warfare right now. You know, games can happen. Some multiplayer reveal happens. Then. You get like two to three days of streaming, uh, multiplayer, uh, YouTube videos, etc., and all that, up and up and up and up, and it, it's just amazing. Um, the game really, really has changed for me. Um, now, for me personally, the biggest thing that is going to be the the hardest thing to deal with this year is going to be the movement, and the reason for that being. Is because there's a whole new mechanic to movement. Okay, never in a Call of Duty from Call of Duty One to to COD Ghost, the movement has pretty much been the same. You may have had a few, um, you know, if you go on tactical, you know, you press circle to the knife and etc. But the movement uh, and the controls ha- has never been complicated. Now, the the bad reason for that uh, and the reason why games tend to suck is because on day one you would get pro players or someone who's really good at the game who only has to learn the game's maps because he's already got the movement skills he knows he knows what he's going to be pressing you know everyone's got a lot of people have scuff controllers as well and all this the movement is is the same and it Bringing a brand new movement with the exoskeleton, exoskeleton abilities is going to be insane. And I really think everyone's going to have to learn this Call of Duty because the movement is just going to be so different. Like, I've watched so many YouTube gameplays of commentaries, and every one of them has said, You can't run around the map anymore. You can't run around the map. If you don't use these exoskeleton abilities, you are going to die instantly. Like, you will be shit at the game. To, to be good at the game, you need to use these exoskeleton abilities. Now, and that's where I start my opinions. Okay. I feel as 
Call of Duty Ghosts pretty much defined Call of Duty's downfall. All. And I watched the multiplayer reveal, and I actually have to say, I am not impressed at all. I oh. thought I'd see way better from Sledgehammer. You see, here's the thing. When I, when I was watching the multiplayer reveal and the maps that I was watching the gameplays on, it instantly dragged me to the look of a Treyarch game. It had that Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2 feeling look. Uh, the colours were there, how the scoreboard was, how the player was, how the gun skill was. Now, <clears throat> every exoskeleton has a counter-attack, so... Every time you dash or you jump, etc., you, you, there are ways for you to appear on the radar. Everything is balanced in this game. And even the the um, uh, the bullets and everything like that, they're all balanced. A lot of people are saying that the weapon balancing is there. Like, it's taking uh, five to, to eight shots to kill someone mid-range. It's, you know, it's not like a, a 30... You know, it's not like a instant click and you're dead kind of thing, or it's not like a drop 30 bullets and get hit markers. You know, everything is balanced and everything is working great. Um, the game mode confirmed so far are uh, team deathmatch, kill confirmed, domination, team domination, search and destroy, search and rescue, capture the flag, hard point. They've added in two new game modes. One is called Uplink. And one is called Momentum. Now, Momentum is a remake version of the Call of Duty World at War classic game mode, War. Which is a fan favorite game mode. Everyone who played COD 5 would have experienced War, I'd imagine, at some point. Or heard about War and what it did. Uplink, e oh, and Hard Points in there as well, I should mention. Um, Uplink is a brand new game mode that has never been in Call of Duty. So basically, it now, because of these exoskeleton abilities, they've, they've created this game mode uh, which is like American football in a way. Mm. Now there is a goal, not like a portal, but a goal in the air which you can jump through. If you jump through it, you get two points for your team. And there's a ball that you can throw to your teammates. And then you can chuck that through the hoop. And if you chuck it, chuck it through like the portal thing, the hoop thing, you get a point. So it's like Quidditch in a way. Uh, and Harry Potter, I'm pretty sure you, you know what Quidditch is, right? No, I don't. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's pretty much like um, two, two scoring areas, like in basketball, uh, in a map. And you, you get a ball... Uh, and you can pass it to your teammates across the map, etc. And mm -hmm. if you chuck it through the hoop, you score two points. No, if you chuck it through the hoop, you score one point. If you jump through the hoop, which you can, you score two points. And that is amazing because Ghost didn't really create any good game modes. Ghost didn't really bring something new to the table. Black Ops 2 brought hard point, league play. And what else did Hot? What else did Black Ops 2 bring? Uh, I feel like there's another game mode that they brought in. They brought Hardpoint, League Play, and did they bring anything else in for game mode wise? Um, I don't know. You're the uh, <laughs> you know more of this than I do. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Apart from like zombie based game modes. Oh, man, I just feel like there's something in the back of my head that, that there is another game mode that they brought to the table. But uh, Modern Warfare 3 did it as well. You know, they brought Infected, they brought Drop Zone, they brought mm -hmm. All or Nothing, they brought uh, Money in the Dank. Bank? Um, or no, it's Dank. No, yeah. it's Dank, right. Yeah, yeah my right. bad. I'll um, think something different. They brought... Um, what was that? Was it Team Defender? Yeah, Team yeah, Defender. Team Defender. And Modern Warfare 3 brought a lot of game modes in. Uh, Black Ops 1 added wager matches uh, and all that. Um, Modern Warfare 3 added the uh, 1 versus 1 cager matches, I believe. And then they added 
Um, third person? No, I don't think they added third person in actually. They so had they, third person in MW2. Yeah. Oh. So, so they added that in. Um, so every card, there's there's always been at least one new game mode, whereas Ghost didn't really do much. I mean, they brought to the, they brought Blitz to the table, which was just a like a, a mugged off version of Capture the Flag. But Blitz, I kind of like that game mode. I'm not gonna lie. I um, did. They brought Search and Rescue, which... I really didn't like that one. Nah, and I think that was it for, for Ghost that, that, that they brought No, in. I'll tell you what Ghost did a good job of doing. What? Putting in kill streaks that are overpowered. Is that a joke? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. Because we had our little puppy dog, Riley. Oh, that yeah. Could, that yeah. could take bullets like a yeah. champ. You see, here's, here's the thing, though, is that that dog is, is I don't get how a dog has more health than a human. Um, uh, I don't get that. <laughs> you know, but, Who knows? Oh, and there was actually a thing where Infinity War got shown up where the dog was actually killing people before it actually bit them as well. So most of the dog's kills were hacks. <laughs> I'd say. Um, but anyway, getting back to Advanced Warfare, there is a Day Zero edition, which means if you pre-order the game, doesn't matter what edition you get for any console, you will get it a day earlier on the 3rd. So it releases on November the 4th. As long as you pre-order it, you will get it on the 3rd of November. And you get 24 hours of double XP. So from the 3rd to the 4th, you get double XP. Ranks stay the same. Uh, you get all this like gaming content stuff for the game. You get a uh, pipeline, a remake for uh, um, from COD 4. You, you, there's just loads of gaming content and Advanced Warfare. You know, it's it looks a really good game for me because the movement is there, the game modes are there, the support for um, the pro players is there. The support for public players is there. You know, I kind of got that Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2 feeling. The maps didn't look too bad. The gun balancing didn't look too bad. The perks uh, is great. There's now a new... So in Black Ops 2, they have the 10-point system thing with the creator class. You can now have 13 um, points on your class. Um, and you don't have to have score, well, score streaks. Um, and school streaks are upgradable as well. So if you get like a UAV, you can upgrade that UAV. So let's say UAV cost, um, I think it costs 550 score points in Black Ops 1, right? Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> I think it, yeah, I think it did. So let, let's say it's, it costs 550. So let's say you get uh, in Advanced Warfare, if it costs 550 and you upgrade it, for 750, you can get a better UAV that stays in longer, or uh, flashes faster, or um, it, or gives you more assists. There are like upgradable items on every kill streak that you can upgrade, and each time you upgrade that, you require a higher score to get that score streak. Mm. So instead of it being 500, the UAV, if you let's say every time someone gets a kill you get 20 extra points, so that's 750 points to upgrade. That, to get a UAV, you need 750 points. And I like that. I, I think that will make the killstreaks interesting again. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and the, there's just a lot of goodness. You know, the perks don't seem overpowered. There's no upgrade. The only thing that worries me is this exo, exosuit ability, because... I've seen a lot of gameplay. Uh, a lot of people do say that the exosuit, a lot of people did worry that it was going to be OP, but it's really not overpowered. Um, like, it still has has this, like, Call of Duty feeling to it, you know, uh, and everything like that. So I'm thinking that, that this is going to be a, a really good Call of Duty, but I'm going to need to see more of it. Yeah, I after seeing from what I saw on the uh, Advanced Warfare trailer, the Exo Skeleton looks like a good idea. I will give it that, but it looks too. It kind of reminds me too much of Titanfall, 
with the jumping and everything else. It's like yeah, I'm... and I get that, but a lot of pe every well, a lot of people who I've who I've spoke to and have watched gameplays, they've all said that the exoskeleton really isn't that OP, and it still has this Call of Duty feeling to it, and it's much better than Titanfall. Um, they've all praised how the exoskeleton works, um, because now the the exoskeleton is it's gonna it has a built-in trophy you can have a either a built-in trophy system you can go invisible you can um you, there's six things and you have to select one of them for your exoskeleton and they're not really all all overpowered and you know a lot oh you'll have to watch some gameplay of it like mm -hmm. online to really get a feel for it but i, I really do think it, it's going to be a good call of duty and they announced for Xbox a an Xbox One terabyte hard drive for the, the hard drive. Uh, well, for the for this game, mm -hmm. and they showed a zombie um, like round. So that I think it was like round seven, mm -hmm. and everyone's suspicious of that because it's on the controller and it was on the official Black Ops One. Um, like the same image is on the Black Ops 1 poster, so everyone's thinking there's going to be some advanced warfare zombie game mode or some yeah. round based game mode where you can mm -hmm. go to unlimited rounds. So that's interesting. They ain't Treyarch, baby. But yeah, but anyone has access to zombies. Like, um, you know, everyone says, you know, zombies is Treyarch's things, but. That's what they're known for. But I mean. You know, if Sledgehammer does the zombies, it's certainly not going to affect the way Treyarch do their zombies. It, it won't. It won't really matter. It'll spice up the. It'll spice up Treyarch's zombies if any. If they do anything, because they're going to have um, competition on their hands. Mhm. Mm um, but also, um, a Call, of, Call of Duty, the Activision publisher CAO says that the. Um, that the three-year cycle now gives them, the studios, the freedom to fail um, during the creative process. Whereas before, if they failed, it, it really had to be shown in the game. Like, if they failed, they couldn't really change it because it was too short time. Mm-hmm. Um, which I kind of, kind of do agree with. You know, I do think three years, the three-year cycle thing is a really good thing. Yeah, it's not bad. Mhm. Mm um, now get into some PS4 stuff, and this will probably interest you a bit. Um, so the PS4 comes out at Gamescom, announces that it, it has sold 10 million units, whilst Xbox is still on 5 mil. Damn. Um, and the PS4 has once again outsold the Xbox One for the seventh month running. Um, damn, man! Xbox needs to get their damn ass in gear, cause Sony's is dry fucking them in the ass. Well, here's the thing: Sony have just announced this PS4 share play feature. Now, mm -hmm. this share play feature sounds awesome. So, what they're gonna allow you to do is it's gonna you are gonna be able to invite your friends to games they don't even own a copy of. And they will be allowed to play in your game session for up to an hour. Hmm. So let's say I have Minecraft for PS4 and I want you to join. I can send you my game copy and you can join me for one hour on that game. And you don't even have to own the game. You don't have to buy the game after. You don't have to have a trial. You can, you know, the game's yours for mm -hmm. an hour. And they should. The Xbox has nothing to compete for that. Yeah, I don't think there is anything to compete with that. That's actually pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to have my PlayStation 4 in a month, but I'm really excited for it. Yeah, and they've got good things coming. They got like a that's coming up with the 2.0 update, which is actually going to add themes as well. So it'd be really nice to get some themes on there. Um, yeah, because I I do like the PlayStation 4. The one thing I don't like about it is though is the interface. Yeah. So, I just don't like the interface. It's too bland. I kind of wish it would be like the PlayStation 3, but... Yeah, but... I guess they they have to go with their vision and drive with what they want. 
Mm-hmm. And I think later down the line, because let's face it, Sony really aren't really known for their software. Mm, no, not for the, the hardware. Yeah, and you know you've got to. I, I I do imagine later down the line their interface will will change, their their dashboard will change. Yeah. Um, as it gets better. But what they also announced is. DayZ is coming to PS4 now. DayZ is a huge game on I, PC. I heard about this one. I'm excited for this one. Oh yeah, me too. They they announced that it's coming to PS4 now. I don't know if it's a console exclusive because it's not announced for the Xbox One. Mm. So if they've locked that down to an exclusive, that's gonna be. And they've got that M21 game coming out as well, or H21 game, the zombie game. That looks pretty good, but getting Daisy now. I've always wanted to play Daisy on PC, but I I can't do this mouse and keyboard shit. Yeah, and, and I don't have a controller. Yeah, and I, I have the Xbox 360 PC controller thing, um, but even still, like mouse and keyboard still beats you. Like there's just no hope. Um, but Daisy on on the PS4 is that's. That's, That's a dream. Yeah, and also that they they actually did announce that it uh, looks on both sides of the Xbox and the PS4. They're going to bring more PC games to the PS4 and Xbox One. Mm-hmm. So now Goat Simulator is going to Xbox One. Like, Goat Simulator is a really fun game. Yeah, I hear it's really fun, but I'd rather have DayZ. Oh, yeah, DayZ. I love it. Bomb. I I love zombie games. Most people don't know about me. I love zombie games. I just can't get enough of them. And the recent ones have sucked because they've been either Resident Evil, mm. and that's it. But I that, gotta play The Last of Us. Yeah, I can't wait for uh, Dying Light and um, yeah. Dying Light Two comes out, and there's one coming out next year as well. Um, I do know the name of it, but I generally can't remember it. But I'm I'm hyped for that. We talked about it last week, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, so, also, this by the time you get you're getting your PS4 in the next month. Hopefully, yes. So, Minecraft is expected to be released for the, the PS4 this month. So, Minecraft will be available probably um, for you when you change over because. Uh, they have submitted their their final version of the game by so- to Sony to the PS4. So as soon as that passes, they they can sell it, um, which is awesome because Minecraft's a great great game. And mm. to get it on the P- PS4, where you can have a 36 times bigger world, it's gonna be insane. Mm-hmm. But did you? hear about Microsoft pissing off the majority of its fans? No, I didn't. What does Bill Gates' dick have to say? Well, Microsoft announced in their um, in their like Gamescom kind of thing, like their um, stream, that the next Tomb Raider game, Rise of the T- Rise of the Tomb Raider, which is a, a game the next sequel to the previous Tomb Raider game, which yeah. was on all uh-huh. consoles, they announced that that was going to be an Xbox One exclusive. So, they they pissed off their fans because they lied to them and they, they outsold them. So first, they were saying, oh, it's going to be an Xbox One exclusive. It, it, um, you know, the only place to play it is going to be here. Now... After everyone has gone mad at Microsoft, because bearing in mind that um, everyone loved the last Tomb Raider, like everyone was looking forward to this game, and then to just put it exclusive to one console, that's gonna piss a lot of people off. Yeah, and it it specifically did piss off a lot of Sony people because you know there are double amount of users on the PS4, mm-hmm. and there are probably. Five times the amount of users on PC, mm-hmm. um, and a lot of people wanted to play the ex- the Tomb Raider game. So now it's a timed exclusive. Now the reason they've done that is because 
It comes around about the same. It comes out around the same time as Uncharted Four, which is a PlayStation exclusive anyway. I think. Mm -hmm. Um. So, that's going to be a good game because it's developed by Naughty Dog and Naughty Dog. They, all, they always they always, make, uh, they always make good games. Yeah, and I think Microsoft did this to counter attack. Um, Uncharted 4 and, and to boost the Xbox One sales, but everyone is hating at Microsoft because they lied to and because they wrecked a good game there. Like Tomb Raider was always specifically used to be a, a Sony exclusive. It was only on the PS1 and PS2. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then they brought it worldwide on the PS3 uh, to Xbox. And then to just fuck over your fans like that. And the worst thing is, is that the company behind the Tomb Raider exclusive said that it was the reason why they did that is because they believe the Xbox will improve the sales of it. <laughs> when yet the rest of the market is what, more popular. That's what they said about Titanfall. Oh yeah. And that didn't work too well. Mhm. Mm I don't think people are going to buy Tomb Raider just to see Lara Croft tiny titties. <laughs> Well, yeah, next gen titties. Well, that's the thing, though. I mean, if this was like the original Tomb Raiders, and her tits were about the size of my <laughs> head, then yes, then yeah, that would have been worth getting. But no, not anymore. I remember on the official Tomb Raider, where you, you was like in a cave and you had some like shitty version of the Desert Eagle, and like a bear mm -hmm. comes out running at you in the dark. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um. Some Grand Theft Auto kind of thing. The uh, CEO, Strauss uh, Zelnick, has said that the Xbox One and PS4 version of Grand Theft Auto V will blow you away. Nothing but the best will satisfy Rockstar. Um, now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because Grand Theft Auto, whatever Rockstar do to Grand Theft Auto, it has... This PS4 version has to launch with Heist. Um, it has to launch with this money glitch fixing that's mm -hmm. going on. Because that is breaking the game. That is stopping the game from producing DLC right now. Mm. It has to launch with all the DLC and everything like that. But I'm I'm really excited to see what GTA looks like on the next gen. Because it looks, it looks insane on that trailer. Yeah, I'm really, really, really excited. And they said that that trailer wasn't edited. Like they said, that was actual PS4 content. Mm. Um, and I, I'm blown away to, to see what they can come. Yeah, that's it's very, really really hyped up for it. Mm. Another game that I'm kind of hyped up for is there's a lot of car games coming out this year. If you've noticed. Mm-hmm. Um, you've got, well, this year and next year, you've got Gran Turismo coming out, mm -hmm. you've got Project Cows, you've got Driver mm -hmm. Club, mm -hmm. you've got, um, thingy, uh, NASCAR? Uh, no, nothing yet on NASCAR yet. Okay, um, but there's, there's tons, The Crew, that's another car game, um, there's, um, Forza coming out. Um, there's tons and tons and tons of car games coming out. Project Cars um, is... I'm really just taking it to get the Xbox One here. Just I just wanted to mention this because the Xbox One fails. It's already running at 60 frames per second on PS4, but it's not quite there on Xbox One. I just wanted to mention that. <laughs> just, just for the lols, because Xbox One sucks. Oh, here we go. We're pissing off that demographic. All right. I, so I don't care. I don't all care. All right, man. You broke like, the record. You you have to accept that the fact that even if you're an Xbox fanboy, you have to accept the fact that Microsoft fucked you over and that they let you down. They mm. you should be ashamed to own an Xbox One. The next gen consoles, yeah, it's not really that powerful. Mm -hmm. Now you'll always get these people going. The Xbox is better than the PlayStation. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think they're saying that now. <laughs> but um, you know, last week we mentioned this uh, Twitch thing that was shutting down channel, well, muting gameplay last week. Yeah, I heard about that. Uh huh. 
they sh- they um, <laughs> during Gamescom, the official twi- Twitch accounts for PlayStation, Xbox, and the Esports League were compromised during Gamescom 2014, uh, resulting in highlights from broadcasts posted to the channels uh, with offensive and misleading content. <laughs> so, PlayStation, Xbox, and the Esports League got their channels um, pretty much... Their content is unvi- unva- unavailable at the moment. It's all muted, everything like that. And the reason for this believed is because someone has hacked into their account because they were using unsecured laptops at Gamescom. Mm-hmm. But um, it's kind of funny because Xbox and Microsoft were pretty much going at each other. Like as soon as Xbox came out, they congratulated Sony on, on 10, 10 mil consoles, and then as soon as Sony came out, they were like, "We would like to announce that we have sold 10 million units." Just like, and the Xbox is on five mil. Like no one would predict this. Yeah, I know. Everybody thought it was going to be just like the last time around with the uh, Xbox 360 and yeah. PS3. The nope. Xbox 360 would lead. But then eventually the PS3 would take over in sales just because of the Blu-ray. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, like I'm so glad Sony's back on top. Mm-hmm. And they're not just on top; they are dominating five mil. They are. F- it, it, the worst thing is, is that it's not as if they're five mil down after a year. It's seven months in. I know. And that is a lot of catching up, like that is saying something to your production line. Yeah, no, you're going to have to do something to get your fanboys back loving you again. Well, here's the thing. What, what they're doing now is... We talked about the EA access last week. They, they're they tying things down. So Maiden NFL 15 is not going to get a is not going to get a demo on any platform this year. It's only going to be available... For people to try it in this EA Access thing, which is on the Xbox three, which is on Xbox One and 360. So, is this the start of of this EA stopping demos and just going with this access thing I think and, so. and and trying to trying to persuade people to say, oh look, pay the subscription feed, you get demos, you get um, trials of games, you get unlocks, you get old content and everything like that. I think EA is probably going to get a lot of hate for this. More hate than what Microsoft will get. Most likely, yes. And uh, EA, I, I don't know. Like, I, I have a question later um, to ask, but, and you'll probably say EA later on. Um, but I just don't know what it is with EA and Xbox. <laughs> like, Those two just seem to want to fail together. <laughs> you know? Like, mm-hmm. EA could have easily got themselves out of trouble. You know, they, they brought Titanfall, which was good. If they had a good Sims 4 launch, they, they'd have been good. They fixed a lot of their mobile games with microtransactions. That could have been good. Um, but, you know. And also, for any Xbox people watching this, we would like to send an official apology before... Uh, Warner Bros. comes and wrecks your dashboard up. (laughs) Xbox Entertainment Studios are believed to just have entered talks with uh, Warner Bros. over a possible deal. Now, the only deal that me and Steven can come up with is either a subscription-based thing like Netflix uh, or to spam ads... On uh, Warner Bros. I feel it's going to uh, be the ads. I think it's going to be both. I think they're going to push the money out. I think the dashboard's just going to say, um, you know, this movie made by Warner Bros. in store now. And I think they're going to have a, a thing like Netflix where you can watch all the uh, Warner Bros. stuff. Looney Tunes and. They, they do have a lot of movies. They do have a lot of movies. You can watch Charlie's Angels or whatever. I don't know. I'm not really sure, but <laughs> yeah, they have tons. They were tons. like a a really big uh, movie producer. 
But I tell you, nothing makes a movie better than just having that 20th century. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I would say Selena Gomez. Oh no! But like, <laughs> you know, when you just sat there watching a movie and you just just before it gets started, you hear that. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Oh yeah. That that's great. Mostly yes, unless the movie's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Have you watched any bad movies this week? No, I haven't watched. There's one movie that I did watch that was bad, but it wasn't a few. It was a couple months ago. Oh, what was it? R.I.P.D. Oh, really? Yes. Why was it bad? It is. You know, it's bad. One, the story's confusing. Mm-hmm. Makes no sense. The background of it had, you know, not very good at all. Barely any character development. I never see that in movies anymore. <laughs> but the most recent movie I watched probably was Noah. Yeah. I've watched that recently, and I mean... Yeah, I don't know. If I was going to give it anything, I'd say it's a, eh. You know, <laughs> kind of like, okay. Uh huh. I'm pretty much going to tell you the whole movie in five seconds. All right, let's build a fucking ark. All right, we're on the ocean. Fuck off. <laughs> End the movie. Oh, wow. An hour and a half pretty much just for that. <laughs> Well, the funny part about it was, though, you know how in the Jesus books and everything, the Ark was like an Ark? Yeah. In the movie, it's a giant floating box. <laughs> so, based on movie talk, what would you say, in your opinion, what is the worst movie ever made? <laughs> I see the worst movie that was ever made. Oh man, a lot of bad movies. Mm. 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 I don't. Oh, there's so many bad movies. I can't really think of just one that's the worst. Okay, well, let's come up with. Uh, let's come up with a reasonable, like top five or something. Hmm. Um. Shit. <laughs> oh God. It's been a while since I heard of any bad movies, but I know there used to be a, some really bad ones out there, but I can't remember what they were called. I remember the official Batman and Robin movie. That was really Oh, bad. that one. The Batman and Robin yeah. Return. Batman yeah. Returns with goddamn George Clooney. Yeah, that was terrible. Oh, my God. Yeah, I remember seeing that. Mm. Like, and I used to really be into it. I used to like Batman and the cartoon I never, stuff. I never did. Um, that movie never helped it. <laughs> but, I mean, it was just... I don't know what they were thinking with that. Yeah, I don't know either. And they they did spend a reasonable budget as well. That They could have easily recasted that and... I don't know what it was. Was it just the facts of having poor actors or was it a poor script i don't know i think everything was poor i don't think there was anything good about it mm. mind you the most batman movies that do come out are bad like the batman 3 that was that was terrible as well mm-hmm. um and so the games to be honest the games are pretty bad as well. mm. I don't say the games are that bad. I know a lot of the go. I know like Bar- Arkham Asylum or whatever the hell it's called. I don't know the games either, but I know a few of them are pretty good. Mm, but I, I just don't really like how like a movie can get a cut off game. Like I, I really don't like that. Didn't they do a cut off? From the Batman as well with Catwoman wasn't that like a separate movie? Yeah, and that movie was also really bad. <laughs> I knew um, there was some sort of Catwoman thing. I wasn't sure if it was like a TV cartoon or a TV show, 
but I remember there was something from um, from like a cutoff from Batman because Cat Catwoman was um, was a bad you know sh- from from you know your movie's bad when you're directing like you know your thing's bad when you're directing another movie from it like a cut off mm-hmm. pretty much the same thing but just focused on yeah um there's I'm trying to think of really shit movies where like the expectations being high but it hasn't been good mm, I can't think of any um that was a Jaws movie that was um the, I, I've watched Jaws um I can't remember which one it was uh give me a second I think it was Jaws the Revenge Jaws 3 Jaws 3D is that even out? shit it's been out for since 1981 yeah but it hasn't been official like when you say like 3D, I meant like, you know, proper like cinema today 3D. No, that was 3D. Really bad 3D, but it was 3D. Because uh, so I, it was, uh, I remember they, yeah, they always said um, that they were going to remake the Jaws 3D movie into modern technology 3D movie. Yeah, I, I think it was that. just the the technology 3D back in those days. But Jaws: The Revenge was. It was a bad movie in my eyes. Just, just kind of overdid it. Like it just wasn't really. Piranha. Right. Mm. Shark. Sharknado. Mm. There was a movie there. Sharknado two. Mm. Uh, want to say. Um, I want to say there are some really bad Star Wars movies out there. Oh, the the, uh, prequels. Yeah, but I don't think they belong on the worst ever movie list. To some Star Wars fans, yes, but to the common person, eh. Mm, I, I do think, however, the three new movies that Disney are making, I do think they're going to be terrible. Yeah, I think episode seven probably gonna. It's gonna be popular, but I just don't think it's gonna be all that good. Mm. I mean, I am kind of glad that they are getting the original, you know, cast yeah. back. Mm. I'm glad for that, but I just don't see it. I can see it really doing financially good, but yeah, just not all that much good. Good. <laughs> no, I, if I that think makes sense. Yeah, I totally get that. I think. Um, I think the fact that they ha- they have the original cast back and you know the feelings should be there. I just kind of feel as if you've everything has been done in for Star Wars in in a way like you know what to expect pretty much. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and I I just really don't um, I really don't get it like. Uh, I, I guess my my favorite um, my favorite Star Wars was Revenge of the Sixth. Sith. Yeah. Six. Sith. Sith. Yeah. Whatever, man. <laughs> um. I also, I'd also say Twilight. Like any anyone who watches Twilight, like oh, oh God. Yes. Like Twilight is terrible. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I'm sad. Uh, speaking of Batman, um, another one that crops up from that uh, kind of genre is Spider-Man Three. Oh, I was, gonna, I was gonna mention that too. Yeah. <laughs> the e- emo Tobey Maguire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like that is just no. I'm sorry. E- just. No, <laughs> no, no, yeah. thank you. And uh, what was that really bad Transformers movie? 
Which one? They're all bad. Except the first one. Um, what was the first one called? Was it just Transform called Transformers? Just Transformers. What was the second one called? Ah. <laughs> uh, well, the one that I'm specifically talking about was Revenge of the Fallen. Oh yeah, that one's bad. They're all bad though. Mm. Except the first. And and I, and I didn't even like that. No. But you think like Transformers is like everyone says like Titanfall was based off Transformers and like I some bits that. were. And now like Call of Duty's just getting to the stage where oh we're, okay, we're like this now. Like, how long is it? How long is it before you just see Transformers with a first person shooter and it's you know <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I also yeah. think as well, just to take off the Batman, another back off one that they did was the Mask movies. Still yeah, the, the first. Mask. That one was also really bad. Mm. Like I can't believe how, how many spin-offs Batman has. Like how many own. A lot of movies. Has. A lot of Batman movies. Well, you got the Batman movies. You got Catwoman. You got the Mask. The Mask, uh, yeah. There's quite a few. Uh, yeah, there's a lot. Um, and it's just a shame that they're all pretty much shit. No, they're all shit, yeah. <laughs> like, whoever is writing these scripts is just, like, punishing himself. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, let me... New topic. Uh, what are you surprised to see still exist in 2014? Uh... Hmm... Yeah, I don't have an answer for this one. Huh. Uh, I'm going to think of something. Maybe, like... Oh, Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer. I'm surprised that still exists. This sounds familiar. Did we answer this last week? No, we said there was a Win Internet Explorer um, kind of update thing where they said they were going to stop supporting... Internet Explorer, and we said, why the fuck are they still even making Wind uh, Internet Explorer? That's what I'm saying. It's like, I think... I don't know, I feel like we've, we've done this question before. I don't think we have. I, I think last week we we spoke about a quote where Microsoft said um, Internet Explorer won't be updated anymore on old Windows, and we both said... The question is, Microsoft, why the fuck are you still making the Internet Explorer? Because it's years behind. Like, and the reason I said that is because it's on the bottom left of my desk desktop, and it's just like it shouldn't be called Internet Explorer. It should be called Troll. <laughs> Troll. Like, it takes like five minutes to load up Google. <laughs> Google. Yeah, no, no. You could have the best internet. Yeah. And it still takes forever. Hmm. Okay, so here's a video game specific question. If you died and had to spend an infinite time in a video game after you died, which game would you choose? NBA 2K. 2K? Really? Or, or Madden. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's simple. No, no, it's not. The game Correctly. you have to go into is Minecraft. Oh, Mine God. <laughs> Imagine if you just, like, spawned in your Minecraft world and everything was, like, real. Like, you, you just make your own tools, make your own house, you go looking and everything like that. Like, that would be amazing. Like, that is... That would be amazing till you get your ass blown up by a creeper. Well, yeah, but you'd obviously build armor. But, uh, oh yeah, first episode of my PC version went out, and I got fucking owned by creepers. I died, I think it was three times by fucking creepers in that episode. Damn. <laughs> fucking creepers. And on PC, they they do like charged creepers. Oh god. Um, where they're like special enchanted creepers. <laughs> um, <clears throat> if you... We're on the moon. What would you do? 
You can do anything on the moon. What would you do? <laughs> can this be exact? Can this be exactly? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can do anything. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm saying this, but <laughs> this might sound weird, but I would actually masturbate. <laughs> oh <laughs> yes, yes, I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking the same thing. Oh my god. <clears throat> the galaxy looks so brilliant tonight. Pow pow. <laughs> Here's my mark on the moon. And the thing <laughs> is, is that they wouldn't notice. Like, they wouldn't be able to tell the difference. I and mean, you wouldn't even see... Oh, could you imagine, though? Could you imagine, like, if it was, like, a half-curved moon and, like, people could just see you like, <laughs> doing the hand gesture? Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. It'd be like, um, you know, like the DreamWorks interview, like, intro for movies where they have the guy on the moon with a fishing rod? <laughs> imagine if it was like that and people just saw you on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. But, yes, you've got to leave a signature on the moon. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, I always thought there was... Um, now, this is going to make me sound dumb, but at like, the age of, like, five, when I used to stare at the moon, oh, I, used, I used to think I saw, like... Over here in England, we have, a, we have like, ten-pound notes, and we have, like, a Pacific face on. Yeah. I always used to think that guy's face was on the moon... And I could see him, like, I used to look at the moon, and I, I used to try and look for people on there. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you did too, right? What? Look for people <laughs> on the moon no, when you were young. Like, just no. look at the moon and be like, is anyone up there? Who lives there? Mm, no, I did not look for people <clears throat> on the moon. Okay, so there's another question just based on that. If you can live on any of the planets or go and see any of the planets, which one would you go to? I would go to Neptune. I would go to Mars. Mars bar, god damn it. <clears throat> no, not just for that, because Mars is pretty much the most studied planet, I want to say. Apart from Earth, but it's pretty much the next most um studied planet and you know all the technologies on there you, you, they are saying that people will be able to go on Mars soon um, <clears throat> so another question based off that is what do you expect the world to be like in 100 years uh, hmm, that's a good one I don't know if there's anything left uh, hmm I don't know, probably more technomonologia. Technomonologia? Yeah, technomonologia improvements. <laughs> yeah, but the thing that I want in like a hundred years is. I kind of imagine like. People don't do any housework now. Like, you, you have robots that do the housework for you. Like, you have robots that will clean your dishes, you have robots that will cook you dinner. <laughs> Yeah. Like, robots just to take over everything yeah. and like they don't cost you anything to run so like you don't have like a timed electricity thing or there's no like plug sockets or it mm -hmm. switches to turn on mm -hmm. it's just like Siri you know and you just go um, what, what's a good name for a robot uh. RD, you just go RDD uh, RD what is it? What's what's the Star Wars guy? R D R R two D two. Yeah, there we go. You just say his name, and Wait he comes minute. out. Wait a minute. All right, you gave me something to ask. You gave me something to ask Siri. Okay. Siri, can you bake me a cake? I'm not sure if I'm able to do that or not, but I'm always learning new things. Uh -huh. There we go. I finally beat Siri. <laughs> <clears throat> well, not really. Um, <laughs> flips, flips the table. <laughs> <clears throat> Imagine if Siri just like jumped out your phone and was just like, "Of course, I can build you a cake." I would love that. <laughs> Maybe we could um, get into some technology thing and we can make Siri like that in a hundred years. The All future right. of Siri. Like you just say Siri and like a 
a blue man just comes out. Mm-hmm. Like, he'd be like a genie. <laughs> a genie. I can remember, I'm thinking that Spongebob thing now. It's just like a genie. No, we do not mention Spongebob. We, we, <laughs> don't, we do not do that. <laughs> Worst TV program of my generation ever made. Spongebob is fucking Top. stupid. <laughs> and the creators of it need 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 going to Afghanistan, and they need to experience painful, painful death. <laughs> uh, I hate that fucking thing. <laughs> the worst thing is, is that I still remember the day I came home from school, uh, and one of my friends said, "Oh, there's a new TV program on. Let's put it on." And I watched the first ever episode of Spongebob, and I walked out of the room within ten minutes. I, I was gone. This thing was so fucking stupid and fucking pathetic and childish and... Oh, my God. Uh, uh, oh, man. You watched Spongebob when it was good, too. You should see it now. It's really bad. I, I haven't watched an episode since. I... <sighs> I cannot fuck it. As soon as that fucking theme song comes on my TV, what is it? Oh, who lives in on pineapple under the sea? Whatever shit. SpongeBob Square Pants. Yeah. As soon as I hear hit that guy's voice, who, by the way, should just be the. <laughs> he should just be Captain Birdseye. Like, Captain Birdseye <laughs> is the one to announce SpongeBob anyway. <laughs> And then, or you can have the guy from The Simpsons as well. You know the fisherman hit and run guy. Ah, uh huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, his whatever his name is. Mm-hmm. Um, you know you could have him do it, but no, SpongeBob. Oh God, gee, I would love to actually get the person who designed SpongeBob and put him into a fucking sponge and fucking set fire to him. <laughs> that is it, man. I don't know who I want to kill more, Mark Rubin or the guy that made Spongebob. It's that difficult. Like, that's how much I hate him. And I hate Mark Rubin, because that guy's a twat. I forget, who's Mark Rubin? He's the Infinity Ward community manager. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's he's a dick. A dick? Dickhead. I, I can see that YouTube poop coming in now. Dick! <laughs> but, um... What... Is the dumbest way you have ever injured yourself, or dumbest way you've seen a friend injure themselves? Oh, well, I can see the way I've injured myself. Okay. The dog crushed. The dog crushed my finger with a shoe. <laughs> okay. Um. Here's mine. So, <clears throat> I've already explained in many podcasts that. You know, I I always used to be out in my garden kicking my football. In and one time, there was a garden fork in there, and I stepped on the the blade of the fork, and the thing that you hold with your hand smacked me in the face. <laughs> uh, and I just had this like big purple bruise on my head for for quite some time, like. I stepped on the the blade of it, and this thing just poof whacked me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the dumbest thing I've ever done, and I've done a lot of dumb shit. Oh god, <clears throat> what do you have any for the friends one? Like, what is the dumbest way you've seen a friend get injured? No, I do not. I've seen. Apart from, like, obviously, like, people, like, walking into lampposts. Like, walking that... into lampposts. Yeah, like, where you're, like, just texting and you walk into a lamppost. Um, I've had... I've injured my friend on purpose. Um, I was giving him a backy. I don't know if you if you use that term over there. A backy? Yeah. Oh, is that a cigarette? No. A backy is, um... A term we use over here for like a push bike, where like you stand up and ride the bike and your friend sits on the seat. 
and you ride, so it's like, you know, you're both on the bike, and it's still going. Mm -hmm. And he was messing around um, with the handlebars, like, swiddling them. So I just... I just purposely crashed into a wall. I, I'd had enough, and, I, and I, I was going quite fast. And I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. I crashed into a fucking wall. <laughs> and you know that that was that was always good. That was always one memory. Okay, so he's the the company one. Now, what company is what company deserves to be the most hated company? Hmm. Oh, I don't really know. Mm. To be on, to be honest, I really don't know. Okay, shall we say what gaming company deserves to be Microsoft, the worst? Microsoft, 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 Microsoft. <laughs> um, I think EA's got this one in the bag. Ah, I see, is what you meant earlier. Okay. Yeah, I I do think EA has has taken this one. Damn! I didn't think you'd say, I didn't think you would. Uh, God, Sam. I would uh, say the new Infinity Ward studio, just based on a cod opinion. But I think EA has fucked over the whole gaming community more than ten times, and I, I think they they deserve the um. The award for the most fucked up gaming company ever. Uh, I, I think we need to give. I'm surprised you didn't go with. Um, oh, you went with Microsoft as well, so I guess that counts for their PCs as well. I could also think of another one. Oh, what? Uh, you Technics. Uh, yeah. That's pretty arguable. No, that's not. That's not. It's not. Argue. Not arguable. <laughs> Anybody that plays NASCAR or the game or na any NASCAR game made by you Technics, they know how bad they are. I mean, there's always those developers on Steam you get where they they make a good game and it just gets so many people that buy like early access and then the game never comes out. Um, there's always those kind of people. Um, what, in your opinion, what is the worst uh, invention of all time. The noodle cooler. <laughs> noodle cooler? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm not joking. It's in the name. <laughs> what? The noodle cooler. <laughs> it's chopsticks <laughs> that have a fan attached <laughs> to the end of it. Oh my god. And as if you couldn't have your fat ass Pick the noodles up with the chopsticks and blow on them. <laughs> There's a fan there to back you up and blow it for you. Oh my god. I was not expecting anything like that. The noodle cooler. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh Jesus. That's that's pretty special. I've got to Google this thing. I'm sorry, I'm googling this right now. I think that's what I believe is called the a noodle, noodle cooler. It noodle. is. Oh, it is. Oh dear, this is this is a thing. <gasps> ah, that's it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, it's pretty a, it's a smart idea for other dinners, but for fucking noodles? That is stupid. <laughs> oh my god. Anyone that is watching this right now, who's got to this point, Google the noodle cooler. Yeah, In fact, I'm, Google noodle cooler. I'm, I'm going to go on Amazon and see how much this piece of shit costs. So oh I may just boy. buy one just, just for the joys of it. <laughs> oh wait, Amazon don't have them. No, nope, huh. Amazon does not have that piece oh. of shit. Why do they they have, have the rap they have the rapid ramen cooker, but that's actually a good invention. Hmm. 
I actually saw that in a uh, in a review. Uh, the worst. <laughs> oh dear me. We'll see if I can find it on eBay. Oh, I bet you can. <laughs> I also have another really bad invention. Okay. I can't even find it on eBay either, but it was Pixos. <laughs> and you know, you know what makes them special? No. They contain what's in the date rape drug. <laughs> no shit. Um, no shit in here. Wait, hang on. I just looked up the <clears throat> the worst things ever, and one of the number two things is Microsoft Bob. Ah, uh, just <laughs> Microsoft Bob. Mm -hmm. Jeez, Snuggy for dogs. What's this? <laughs> oh God, no! <laughs> no. Comfort wipe. What the fuck's a comfort wipe? Oh, the comfort wipe. Yeah, so I'm going to tell you about the comfort wipe. All right. Okay. It's something that pretty much, if you're too lazy to to put your to put your arm backwards and wipe your ass, you get the <laughs> wow. you get the whatever the hell that thing is called. You stick a whatever the hell is on, and you just shove that thing up your ass, and you just clean your ass. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so this is based in this is based in America, and I just think America's fucking lazy. <laughs> I just honestly do think that that <clears throat> America is just fucking lazy as shit. <laughs> but the noodle yeah. cooler—that's that's pretty special. I just want to see a few more. So I've gone on a, another website. Okay. <laughs> so, um, uh, so oh, the so fake what's... hand. A fake hand, which, which way you hold? Um, oh, so how about oh, how about the hand underwear? <laughs> there's a there's a fast uh, meets west chopstick thing, which has like knife and fork from the end of chopsticks. Ah, uh, yes, I've seen that. Uh huh. Um, uh, what else? Clackers. 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 Yeah, like the thing to go clack, clack. Uh, oh God! Someone invented like jeans. Um, like no, like jeans. Like, no, like, like people. Like these uh, stupid. Hand pants were made. Like I'm gonna send you the Skype link, and you'll see how ridiculous these are. Hand pants. Yeah, they, the they check those. Like they just look so retarded. Hand pants. What yeah. the hell? <laughs> <laughs> they look so fucking retarded. That's oh, stupid. The next one is diet water. Yeah, I see. Looking at that too. <laughs> diet water. Yeah. All right, diet water. All right. Guess what? There's nothing different. We're just gonna market it off. Woohoo! Hander Hand pants. pants. <laughs> wow. I forgot that was one of them that I forgot that oh. I was gonna say. Wow. Oh. Uh, Is that the hand thing you were about? No, that's not the hand thing I was talking about. <laughs> The hand thing I'm talking about is on a stick, not a, something oh, right. connected. I think this is an upgraded uh, version. A battery powered <laughs> battery charger. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, well, let's uh, charge my batteries while I'm, <laughs> while I'm wasting them. <laughs> it dies for low yeah. battery. Here we go, the aqua, the aqua notes. Mm hmm. Let's see what else? Oh, a lighted dice. <laughs> Who in the fuck would use those? I know, right? Let's see. Ooh, a pistol, a water gun umbrella, <laughs> so you can shoot people while you're getting shot. <laughs> Ooh, Bacon flips. 
Oh my gosh, nasty. How about the cell phone oh, later? Oh wow. Go to go to number two. Go go to number two. I mean <laughs> Oh uh, my god. <laughs> micro what? what the I, hell? I just don't get it. I mean Next bacon <laughs> floss. Oh no, go keep on going down there and you go to like Wow this <laughs> What the Oh my god <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know, well, no one can see this, but um You gotta put the link girl, in the description. Yeah, this girl or this woman should we say. Or it could be a man. <laughs> it doesn't look too has, distant as a woman. Um has a has a, has a mop <laughs> on her back with a electric <laughs> scooter, and it looks as if it's got like a attachment for the mop that goes around your waist, and you clip that on, and you you put that on first, and then you get on the scooter, and she is going around the house in her scooter <laughs> with the mop strapped to her waist, brushing the floor. <laughs> Oh God! Yeah, uh, how about the what about the, the first snotting... one, the snow one? <laughs> yeah, snow shovel shoes. Mm. Ruin your shoes by putting Cambridge? Sp- oh wow, the canned widge, pe- peanut butter and jelly strawberry pocket sandwich. Oh, I see that. <laughs> how that about the one to the? Be... How about the one to the right? The ones that are right. <clears throat> you can oh, the snot chicken your. Thing? Uh, no, not the chicken one. The the nose one. Oh. Um, oh wow. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> not your own. Um, soap. Okay, nasty. so it it looks as if there are quite a few in- interventions. <laughs> inventions that I keep on saying interventions. They have the same MW2. Yeah. The intervention. <laughs> Jesus H. Christ. <laughs> um, but, I mean, that's that's pretty special. Oh, yeah, I, I've seen this comfort wipe now. I'm on a don't know the website. The comfort <laughs> wipe is, is uh, definitely up there. But the noodle <laughs> fan... Is you're the noodle fan. <laughs> I mean, you how strap- does how do you even come up with that? Like, you have like Dragon's Den over there, right? Uh, what do you mean like the Dragon Den? Like, uh, there's a program over here called Dragon's Den where like people who are millionaires invest in like other people's businesses. Like, they go on there, present their product, and say, "Oh, this is um, this is the the noodle fan." And then they show yeah. the product off and they invest. I guarantee mm-hmm. the noodle fan came from something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I can probably guarantee that. <laughs> Number one is baby cage? These things were invented. <laughs> oh yeah, the baby cage. Yeah. Yep. Recorded yep. in it's Washington a... by a woman named Emma Reed. Yep, you take your kid and you put it in a cage, and the cage hangs outside your window. To, uh, it breaks to sudden death. Who wouldn't want that for their cop for their child? <laughs> oh god! Oh, <laughs> uh, what? Oh, uh, oh, uh, 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 damn it! <laughs> oh dear me! Oh damn, we're we're making jokes and oh my god, <laughs> god damn it! Um, <clears throat> okay, so we are going really um, off. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do <clears throat> what do you refuse to accept of people? <laughs> like well, uh, like you know, um. 
What do you like refuse to to accept off people? Pretty much. Like, let's say if someone says, "Oh, here, have this," or money. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, um, like old people giving you money. Like, yeah. I hate that. I know. It's like, don't give it to me. Yeah, like give you it need to it more. you more than I do. Yeah. But if it was like a young person, give it. Oh yeah, like give me double. Yeah, give me, yeah, give me double. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you got like three of those notes in your wallet. I want them. But, uh, what is one thing you absolutely won't do in your life? Hmm. Uh. Ooh. Hmm. Well, that depends. I could pull an X Jaws or I could pull a. I could pull a White Boy or an X Jaws. Which one? Oh, I'll pull, right, I'll pull the X jaws. Don't get on chatterbait.com. Did he do that? No, he didn't do that, but I think somebody else that he bullied did that. I know I fly, I fly line, I did it. And he got caught out. I think that's what, I think that's who it was. More than likely. I, I remember him getting out, but now he's quit. Um, one thing I wouldn't do, if we're talking about, like, Real life thing. Um, I'll never smoke. And yeah, I'm not. I'm not really smoking now. <clears throat> I'll never want to have to be in a position where my life is satisfied off drugs. Kind of yeah. Thing. <clears throat> um, but one thing I'll never do would be. Uh, hmm, I guess, um, like, of course, I, I wouldn't, I don't think I could murder someone. Yeah, uh, meh, not murder somebody, but kill somebody, maybe. Hmm, but I mean, that didn't sound right, but, no. <laughs> like, self-defense. <laughs> I, I, I could easily oh. kill someone if they broke into my house. Or they That's stole self something from me. That's self defense. Uh, well, yeah. maybe the stolen thing's pushing it, but. Mm. But, um. <clears throat> what is the future of gaming? Like, it's not game wise, be... but where will gaming get to? To where you're pretty much almost feel like you're in the. Uh, in the game. Well, yeah, but like, what is the future of gaming? Like, what? How do you see gaming in twenty years? Like, I can't imagine people in twenty years' time still sitting down in front of a TV with a controller and a console. Shit! Like, before you know right? it, games might make you go outside and play it. I mean, who knows? Oh yeah. Oh, imagine that though. Like, you, your, <clears throat> imagine that though. Like, it'd be like real advanced Call of Duty where you like have like Google glasses and you synchronize your street and it creates a map. Mm-hmm. Or like that in GTA. Yeah. And you you're just there with your Google glasses, you've got your gear on, you've got your gun. Um of course we're talking like um <clears throat> not not like a real gun, like a Nintendo Wii control gun Ye thing. You know, you've yeah. got your gun and you just go outside and you you know, kill people in the mm -hmm. streets, maybe. Yeah, that um, does, that'd be neat. I definitely don't think it's going to be, um, like, in virtual reality. I don't, I don't think that's going to be a thing. Like, I don't think so. They've already said um, this week that the... Um, the 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 future of the the like Oculus Rift kind of thing is yeah. is difficult because you know the concerns about resolution, graphics, horsepower, and lack of focus may derail mm -hmm. the the technology of, of the VR. Mm -hmm. So th there's nothing really there for it. Yeah, I can agree with that. So it, it, it's it's a hard audience to please. I guess, and I don't think Pacific game developers will develop specifically for that, but I mean, I I just don't think 
sitting in front of a TV is going to be a thing in 20 to 30 years playing a game. I don't think so either. Um, you know, I, I, I don't even think cons- consoles may still be around. Like, consoles will always be around. But I don't think that's where the most people will be. Like, PC is so powerful, but if they made it so that controllers were more usable on PC, uh, or your PS4... the fir- I, I say, the first console to dominate console war will be the first console that allows you to update your own graphics card and process and everything like that that will be the the ultra ultimate gaming console Mm -hmm. the one that allows you to change your own hardware Mm -hmm. and that will dominate that that would easily dominate but um i'm all out of topics um as am i Okay, so we'll wrap up episode 9 of the Gamers Podcast. So we're going to be in double figures next week, which is really good. Um, You know, finally getting this show weekly back up. And hopefully you'll enjoy our new Gamers Podcast intro. Yes, I've seen it, and i got to tell you, it is done very nicely. Mm -hmm. Um, We should have said something about that at the start. We should. (laughs) Oh, well. It happens. We'll say next week. Yeah. Um, anyway, guys, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and or listening, I guess. Um, <clears throat> hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, then please do subscribe. If you did enjoy this, then be sure to give it a like. And if you want to check out more episodes of the Gamers Podcast, you can check those in the description. There's a playlist right there in the description. Go click that. There are All the episodes will be up there. Um, no need to worry about missing videos, etc. All kept up to date. Um, me and Steven, we've got uh, a lot of like gamers podcast things coming, like gaming, gamers, and, uh, every, every stuff like that. It's our uh, series pretty much called The Gamers Podcast Plays. It's kind of yeah. like, uh, what you want to call it? It's, it's kind of like a, a Let's Play series, but we're going to be playing any game, and we're going to be kicking off with Minecraft, I think. Yes. But I think also... Um, we'll probably do some, we, 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 we've got to the stage where we can pretty much, you know, we can do like a, a road to, to prestige on Call of Duty. Like we can have, um, a Pacific name and start at rank one and compete against each other. We can, we can do any game we like with this podcast plays. Um, and it's going to be interesting because we can always, if, when we have a guest on, we will have a guest shortly. We just want to get like a. A couple of shows under a belt, kind of thing, mm-hmm. to sort of yeah, like yep. show that we are um, sort of like we do want to do this, um, and we can we can do any game what we want, um, and of course with Stephen getting his PS4 on this uh, PlayStation um, share button coming in, we we can probably compete games in an hour now as well. Like a race against time kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> we can also do like MB2K um, online career mode kind of team thing. Uh, can... You can't do uh, my career online, but you can do my team. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, my team. Because they know, have like ultimate team, team and FIFA. Fun. Or pro clubs, yeah, it's, whatever. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like... My team in NBA 2K is kind of like Ultimate Team, except instead of coins, you have VC. Uh-huh. And you can either earn VC by you know doing my career and all that other shit and games and all that. But you can also you know uh, buy VC, which a lot of people don't like doing that. Uh-huh. But so, so yeah, like we were saying, um, we are bringing. Um, something new to the podcast and we're we're still discussing things we're still discussing things what can be done so the podcast has a lot of exciting stuff to come and maybe we'll do like a mini podcast during those games because there'll be some games that we can't specifically do like a commentary over for example 
like there will be some games where let's say like um like there will be some games where we'll have to get up on Skype uh, and you know we we can just do like a mini podcast or like a a mini entertainment kind of thing uh, mm-hmm. there'll be some games where you know we have to talk about the game and whatnot but you know this podcast plays is really uh, going to kick off um, we don't have an estimated date or an estimated day, but it, there'll be a channel update video coming soon, I guess. Uh, once we get these like final details um, worked out, and you know, when we have a guest on, we can probably get them in in the, that week. Mm-hmm. Um, but we 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 have a lot of good ideas for the podcast, um, and if you have any suggestions for the podcast, uh, be sure to Leave let them in the comment. Um, you know. We, who knows? We may even bring back the podcast Q and A thing each week. Uh, but anyway, we're going to leave it here, guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you did enjoy. If you did, then you know you know what to do. Subscribe and hit the like button and check out the other podcasts. And we'll see you next week. See y'all.